We have vacation. Not really vacation. It is all part of our plan for our website, earthoftomorrow.com. This is another place, another review. But also we needed some family time. So here we are today, guys. This is uh, in Malbal, Malbal Tropics. So you can see this is uh, like heaven on earth for Liam. So I'm gonna make a review about this place. And um, there is a bar area. I'm gonna make a review about this place. And basically me and Jess are just gonna enjoy life a little bit here before we move on next destination and whatnot. So it is nice here though, I can tell you that much. And spoiler alert, the review is not gonna be on the bad side. So I go edit a video now and render it and uh, um, disclose or uh, what was the name of it? Uh, put up on my website the winner of uh, latest contest and some small small things then relaxing day swimming family day it's gonna be great and before we go on with our relaxing day it's been some action here right yep what happened baby it's just a child attack her epilepsy in the yep. water got epilepsy and going down maybe swallowing a little bit water yep yeah but uh, she's all good now so fingers crossed that she comes back and everything is good or or they they're never come, gonna come back maybe uh, they're or booking even? oh they're booking they're staying here they were having overnight ah so they're gonna come back they just had a doctor's check on her right yeah so it looks it looked really really bad but uh, fingers crossed that it will be okay yeah yep fingers crossed yeah it's i thought that girl was drowning you know i, I never knew about the what's the name epilepsy, epilepsy. yeah i no, thought she was drowning and that's but epilepsy that's a lot less serious than the drowning so i hope hope she will be fine but it looked bad eh? it oh, looked yeah. really bad the girl come from the pool, she's not breathing, doing this, you know, pumping her and breathing in her and yeah, holding over her, no air, but thank God it went all right, yeah? <laughs> so. Let's do her. But yeah, that happened. Um, now it's time to find a winner for our latest contest so in this contest girls and boys <coughs> it was a series of questions to answer question one what is the name of Axel and Jessa's baby question two what is Jessa and Axel's family name like last name right yep question three in what town do Jessa's mom and dad sell their vegetables every Tuesday question four from what country is Axel and question five Axel has been out traveling last week. What country and what city did he go to? So that is the contest. The winner received 1000 pesos and this is the drawing. So let's see who answering. How do I usually say it? I want to win for personal mother. Yeah, that's not an answer. Uh, let's see my answer. Nina 15, your answers. Let's have a look at your answers. So one Liam, two Dal, three Kansulai Uslub. Nope, they do not sell in Kansulai Uslub. So sorry, Nina, fifteen, you did not <laughs> participate today. Uh, next, next Chetai thirty-three. Let's have a look. It's Liam. It's Dal. Uslub Sebu. Nope, it is not. So Chetai, sorry, you are not a winner. Let's. Continue. Let's see. Let's see. We have uh, Rose fifty. Rose fifty five. That's a scammer that I blocked. So Christine six. Let's see what you have. Mm, Liam Dal Cordona. Nope. 
and also Hong Kong is very wrong, so <laughs> you should really check before you answer because it's so easy questions, isn't it? Uh, let's see here. Let's see, Jasmine number 15. Baby Liam, that's good to know. Family name Dal. In Attila and Cebu, Porsche in Norway, and five Norway. I did not go to Norway, so <laughs> I am wrong. Jesus Christ, what's happening here? Um, Almost. Yes. See here, Soul 35, the one that's always active here. She should have it all right. Huh? So, baby Liam, Liam Dahl, making sure she's correct. Huh? Jason Axel Dahl, yeah. Sell vegetable in Dina Thielan, yeah. Original place of Axel is Norway. Vax country he visit is Thailand, city of Bangkok. So, Seoul 35, you're the first one got everything right. So, Seoul 35. Okay, good for you, Seoul. So, here, Rush 09. Let's see what she says. Rush 09 says, Liamdal, Dal, Cebu City, Norway, and Bangkok. That's very good. But unfortunately, we asked for city and country, so only city is not good enough for Bangkok. It's supposed to be Thailand and Bangkok. Unfortunately, you're out. Nice try. You got it all correct. You just missed the country. And... Uh, 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 yeah. Can you, come, can you do one drum and come to us next? Just uh, yeah. contest winner here? Yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah. Take that first on this. Yeah, thank you. And... Um, then we have Anne. Anne, Anne, Anne. What did you say, Anne? Liandal, Dal, in a Thailand town, Porsgrunn, Norway, Thailand, Bangkok. Anne, you're in. Anne. Anne, Anne. Okay, that's two. What is the name? Okay, Iglesias. Iglesias, let's see what you're answering. Liam Dal Dumaget. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're out. Uh, okay, Miyumi, Miyumi 28. Let's see what you have. Miyumi 28 is about 1000 pesos. Baby Liam, Latnam Dal, Ginatilan Town, Norway. Bangkok, sorry, it was the country and the city, so it's Thailand, Bangkok. You're out, very close, but you're out. So, me and, me and, let's see me and. Liam, Dal, in Thailand, Norway, Bangkok. Sorry, it's Thailand, Bangkok. Country and city was the question. Bangkok is just not cutting it. I'm so sorry, girl. Gee, Chi Chi Chi. Yeah, it's you. G it's 27, something like that. Baby Liam Dal Oh, so sorry. You got the Bangkok, Thailand, right? But Buhul is not it. So sorry, girl. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Only two so far, having it correct. Josephine. Let's have a look, Josephine. Liam, Dal, Ginatila, Norway, Thailand, Bangkok. You're number three, Josephine. Josephine. Congratulations on that. That's three. And... That was it. That's all. So it's between three girls, huh? Three people only. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna tear up those notes and have Jess uh, pick one at random. So that's that. Let's just carefully. One. Two. Three. We improvise here. We don't really have any equipment. I know equipment. how to do it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sh I show you. 
Yeah, I already decided this is how it's gonna mm -hmm. be done, so. Pick one. Pick one. Come on, pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Come on. Pick one. Come on, pick one. That's the one. Oh, she really can't make this one. This one. Okay. Let's see. The winner is. You're curious, you want to know who win, it's right here on this note, so... Josephine! Josephine is the winner! Thousand pesos to you! Congratulations! Okay, that was the contest for this time. I'm gonna put the details up now and... Uh, yeah, Liam's sleeping, then he wakes up, we go swimming. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Be good, Ba. Oh. Come on, boy. It's not supposed to be this deep, is it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Is it supposed to be like this? Yeah. Okay. This is what I want to do. This is one, two, three, go! <laughs> one, two, three, go! <laughs> Happy? That tastes good, right? <laughs> Good morning world! So I am home, we're home. It's uh, early morning now. Just as dad went up and went away, the rest of the house is still sleeping. I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'm gonna do some work. Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about uh, our last days of the stay there in uh, Wild Wild Tropics. So as I said, I was expecting it to be a great review about this place, but things happened the last days. Uh, Jesus Christ, we should have just left when we thought, when we, when we was thinking about it, and not stay any longer. But uh, so the next last day, uh, from noon and a couple of hours, I played like insanely loud music. Uh, bought some new speakers, testing them out, they said. And the day after that, I played it again. 
So I'm guessing they're gonna have events where they play loud music now. It is at a sort. The calm, quiet music they played from very good speakers from the from the pub area or the restaurant area is what you expect from a resort. Not loud music destroying all change of thoughts that I had uh, when I tried to do some work. That's, that, that's a huge disappointment that I buy a sound system for making that kind of uh, party style music. It is a resort, not supposed to be like that. I do not understand it. Um, other than that, I did sit down in the bar, reading the menu, waiting to be served. And there were four women workers talking just next to me. They were like 10 meters away from me talking and laughing. So I decided, oh, it's gonna sit there for five minutes. I decided, okay, let's just see if they, if, what, how long time it will take before they acknowledge my existence, right? So then there comes a fifth worker. That's the woman who always sits behind the bar and work. Um, but it doesn't have to be her herself because all the other girls there, the reception and whatnot, they come. If nothing in the bar, they come and they give you what you want from the bar. So I was gonna have a burger and um, and a San Miguel because I was just relaxing with uh, Liam and Jessa being at the mall. And after 35 minutes of nothing, I left and I asked me when I passed them. Do you want to order a beer now or later? And I said, I tried to order now, but no service. So no beer now, no beer later. And then I left off for my room. Uh, then I luckily had buy, bought some bread uh, the day before with Jessa from Julie's Bakery. So I just had some bread, watched some TV, had some cola instead of beer and just relaxed in my room. And yeah, that was uh, not good. Um, later that day, we go down to have a dinner, me, Jess and Liam, and there's nobody in the restaurant. There's one other table in the restaurant, by the way, one other table. And there is workers going by us all the time, no menu, no nothing. And after about 25 minutes of waiting, I go up, get my car keys, and we go to uh, it was raining so much, so, so I thought we was gonna go to Ponagsama, but it was raining so much. So we just went to McDonald's, just a couple of hundred meters down the road. And we ate there instead. So that's that's a little bit disappointing, guys, that uh, the workers there are so nice. I love them all so much. But uh, they really need a manager who makes them do the work properly, because there is no work ethic etiquette if you have five workers and watching one guest sitting there with the menu and just waiting and waiting and waiting and looking at them like what is going on and looking back again it's just i know i could have just gone up and asked them to come and serve me but i do make reviews about uh, places like this the the, the um, you know the world is open up again my website is all about uh, tourists and uh, dating and everything and with the tourist part I was just thinking let's just see how how long it can take and yeah <clears throat> let's just say it took long also we did have an issue with the aircon and I promised to fix it the same night that was the first day we was there and uh, we asked every single day a couple of times a day and when we left, still nobody had come up to even check it. Yes, I even asked the, the cleaning man, there was a man doing the, the room cleaning. And when he was he got in there, he could hear that something wrong with it and, and noticed that it was uh, definitely not giving the power it's supposed to. But none of the ones that are supposed to come up and help fix it came, ever. And no, I'm sorry, no discounts, no nothing, so just FYI, it's a great resort, but uh, don't rely on the staff to serve you, don't rely on them to fix anything if it's broken in your room, that's what I take from it. 
still love the place still gonna come back because it's a great place and hopefully when we come back in six or 12 months uh, to check it out again to update the review that we gave now it will be better run but for now there's not there's definitely not a lack of stuff it's a lack of uh, willingness to do what they're there to do that's 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 the problem uh, as I said, the workers there are great human beings, great persons, but I wouldn't say they're great workers. For now. Maybe we'll change. So, great being home. It's a beautiful day. And now I'm gonna have my coffee, have some work, edit some video, and you know. Just a long, long day for me, but it's okay. Sometimes needed. And in not too long, we're gonna stay for a month or maybe even longer in most likely the city. We don't have decided yet. Things are happening. We will explain more about it later. But for now, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, see you. Have a great day.